Hey guys, I just wanted to um, make another video and just sort of check in. It was about five days ago now that I uploaded um, my first video talking about my mental health struggle. The response to it was incredible. So many people shared their stories, people shared their own struggles and it really touched me, the amount of people that actually got in contact and said, you know, well done, I feel like this too, thank you for speaking up about it. My parents at first, understandably, were a bit shocked. For them, obviously, it was hard for them to hear that their daughter was thinking about ending her own life, and I talked about it so explicitly. To hear, like, your own child, you know, that you produce, you raised, wants to kill themselves, like, that must be heartbreaking. So how am I feeling today? I don't know really. I'm not, I'm not great. I don't know if you can tell but I'm like on the verge of sort of tears. I don't know why but for the last sort of few days I've really had bad anxiety, tight chest, sweaty palms, rapid heart rate, struggling to breathe. I'm not sure why. I, I, I genuinely don't know why I've tried to think and I just don't know. I really just don't know. Little things could be triggers, you know. Um, a situation that I'm afraid of or um, fear for something, uh, the future. I mean, but I usually have anxiety, but it's never really this bad. And over such, like, consecutive days, I don't usually have it like that. I'll have it, like, now and again. Um... Yeah, it was probably like Sunday that I felt really anxious. Um, I'd been to festival and I had a really great time. And I think that what set off the anxiety was thinking it's Monday tomorrow. What am I doing with my life? No idea what I'm doing. Like, you know, thinking about everything all at once. And I think I've realised like that when I do something really fun it takes my mind off things and then as soon as it's over it's like it's like post holiday blues you know when you come back and it's back to normality and it's it's so normal and I know so many people go through it but yeah I just I don't usually have it this bad and I don't know if anyone watched my last video if you did I talked about you have to plan for if you are going to go out then the next day you're going to feel a little bit more sensitive well with that, I should have said, you may, if you suffer, have anxiety, be depressed. Yeah, I've I felt re I've been feeling anxious probably since Sunday, but every day. And I went out in London last night, and I had a really great time with my friend. And then today, I drove home, felt fine, was singing along in the car, felt really happy. And then as soon as I get home, I just thought, oh. It's over. And it's almost like every little negative thought comes creeping in. So yeah, I'm not feeling too great. I'm feeling really sensitive at the moment. Um, before London, I, before I went to London yesterday, I was looking forward to going, but I was having anxiety about going. You know, I was having anxiety about spending money. What will people think of me? And I don't know, I've never really had this bad like social anxiety before, but I um I felt like I needed to protect myself a little bit and I was supposed to have a shoot today and I cancelled it because even though I didn't drink much and I was in bed by half twelve last night, I just felt like I needed to give myself today to just chill and not give myself too much stress. And um yeah, so I cancelled a shoot which I'm really disappointed about because obviously like, you know, for somebody that doesn't really have a career, like I shouldn't really turn down like opportunities and I am being really hard on myself and I am just like being a bit tough and I just, I don't want, I don't want to feel like this. Oh, so frustrating. So many people get it and that's the hardest thing is that so many people are suffering and this is what really upsets me. And I guess I'm, I'm, I've taken on a lot of people who's like problems and I've really absorbed like people's 
stories and, and it makes me think about my own story and I feel sad that so many people suffer. Anyway, the point of this video is I want to talk about a guy I've just discovered and how, I don't know, why I've never seen him before. His name's Jay Shetty and he is amazing. Like, I have, I can't even say how fab he is. He is a speaker, storyteller, motivational speaker, leader, uh, all round incredible guy that really gets it. He's had so much spiritual insight. He understands everything, I feel. Like, I'm in awe. He's such a teacher. He trained to be a monk. I believe he was a monk for like three years. And wow, honestly, he is, is incredible. I saw a video that somebody shared on Facebook and I'm so glad I watched it. Like, I'm so glad I watched it. Feeling a little bit sensitive today, I, I usually don't watch things that are gonna be about like, you know, it, people that are suffering with depression or something because I, I always get a bit worried that I'm gonna feel worse or I'm gonna feel guilty. It's basically called, before you lose someone, watch this. And the caption is, if you know someone this has happened to, you know how it feels, watch till the end. I don't usually get so, exciting emotional like need to talk about a video I've seen but this video honestly hits the nail on the head the video the central character is a girl called Cleo a 20 something 25 year old let's say um female who is an aspiring model she goes out she looks like she's got a great social circle She's very outgoing, travels, she looks like she's got the perfect life, face, hair, body, everything on social media. Her life looks perfect. She's got loads of followers that love her and when she posts a picture she gets so much interaction, so many comments, likes. This video honestly, like, so many aspects, I'm sure so many people can take one or two things from that. But I've never felt like I could relate to a video more in terms of, you know, um, the social media thing you know like I post a lot on social media and people often are surprised that I'm a sufferer when my social media looks like I live the perfect life you know I go to really cool events I have nice clothes you know I wear a lot of makeup and um everything looks so flawless because everything's filtered and edited you know this video, it just nailed it. So many things from that video. I'm not saying everything, and I'm certainly not saying like, I'm an amazing, pretty person that's like got a great personality, but there were so many little points in this video that I really thought, wow, I can relate to that. Social media is such a lie, and I will do a video one day about just social media and the falseness of what people put on, but I think most people are, are well aware. I just think we choose to, to like look the other way and assume the grass is greener. We're so engrossed in thinking that somebody has a better lifestyle because they're, you know, in Ibiza every week, traveling to Dubai, LA, you know, they're going on to these amazing festivals and parties and they've got these amazing designer clothes and bags and stuff, but people don't really like get that they might not actually have this like perfect life and they might be feeling really shit inside and they have no one to talk to. The point, there was a, uh, there's so much that, you know, you could like, go off with this video and talk about like each separate things but the general overview is that not everything is what it seems somebody might have the most amazing social media life but in reality have nobody feel like such shit but we'll never know because we don't ask them that could be our friends do we actually how many times do we ask somebody really how they feel are they are they okay and often people don't want to talk about it there's such a taboo about being open and speaking about mental health and speaking how, about how you feel and letting people know that you're having a bad day. People are so focused on putting a perfect lifestyle up, making everyone think that everything's amazing. What the video said leads me on to say, we really should start checking in with people more. We should start listening. We should start offering support to people because so many people are like really suffering in silence. And I'm such a firm believer in speaking to people. And if you 
are scared, don't be. Just wanted to say, like, this video, it was incredible, and oh, I just don't, I just don't even know. Like, I just, I just don't even know. I just feel so many emotions right now. I feel like someone's actually like got like hit the nail on the head. Like, we'll look at people we'll think that they're okay and we'll be jealous of their lives but we don't know like how shit they feel inside how crap how blue how down how depressed they feel inside and we should just ask them yeah oh <sighs> yeah bit of a bit of a crazy one today and i've got a banging headache oh, i just feel so emotional you or someone you know could be posting this amazing lifestyle. They could have loads of friends, but they might be really lonely. No one has asked them if they are okay. So why don't you reach out to somebody? Why don't you just reach out and ask somebody if they're okay, if they wanna talk? And if you are suffering and you are scared to talk, please, I beg you, talk. Because once you start talking, it's like, you've got it out in the open and you've admitted it and it's like the first step. And I really liked, there's a line about surviving and being ready to thrive. Also, Jay mentioned depression isn't always obvious, which I've said. Um, it isn't just crying, being sad or quiet. I also read a quote that I want to finish with. No matter what kind of challenges or difficulties or painful situations you go through in your life, we all have something deep within us that we can reach down and find the inner strength to get through them. And I just want to say, if you are suffering and you really do feel like you're at your wit's end, please keep fighting. Please talk to somebody. I've been there. It was my darkest day, but I'm so proud that I actually survived and I'm thriving. And I might have days like today where I feel a bit crap, but you know, I'm never, ever, ever gonna let myself get to that point again. I have to make a conscious effort to keep pushing forward because life is so beautiful. There are so many beautiful moments and it's difficult if you are a sufferer to think about that and to remember that, but please keep pushing.